so what we're going to do is um, go through these uh, two boxes and uh, take a look at what we got or, or what I ended up buying, right? And here is, uh, here is one of the boxes, right? I already took it out of the packaging. And uh, the other one is here, and we'll crack that one open as well as soon as we go through this box, okay? So, take the lid off. And if you can see, I'm going to bring this up so you see this. And the person's, um, what they've done is beautifully packaged uh, package these things in, um, I guess they're in the lots that I bought them in or, um, you know, organize them based on uh, what they were. So it's really nice getting a shipment like this uh, through eBay, right? Because it's, um, you know, it's been well taken care of. And, and, uh, and one of the reasons I ended up buying all these books uh, from this guy, but I ended up going crazy uh, on his uh, on his page, right? Uh, was because I'll, almost all of the books that he had listed were very fine to mint condition uh, especially uh, you know a lot of the older ones the new ones he said they were basically mint near mint and a lot of the older ones were very fine to mint condition from the 1960s well 1970s anyway and um, I, I was really excited about that uh, because I do have uh, collections on some of these but I don't have any of these specific ones and uh, one thing you do need when you um, when you buy collections like this, when you get shipments of comics off um, from online, you do need you do need a little exacto knife, right? Because uh, things are really taped up. So we're gonna crack this open, and you gotta be careful with the knife, right? Because uh, you don't want to cut into uh, any of your books. ones these are uh, he didn't put the names on them so sort of like a oh, what is this one? Oh, these are the daredevils let's pay, tape this last one on here nice. which one is this one so this is daredevil number 57 little book uh, so let's take a look and what um, what I ended up what I end up doing is uh, going through and um, I got my computer set up right now here and uh, I go through and I find a lot that I bought and um, look at the description that he's given it just to make sure uh, you know so there double number uh, 58 and uh, just to give you some numbers he had listed uh, this came this lot included there you know there were 10 daredevils in there and it included uh, the lowest number was number 43 and the highest number was number uh, 67 so 10 comics within that range and he had listed it at a really really good price which was um, 30 bucks so it came up to three bucks a comic uh, three bucks a pop and uh, he said they're from good to fine condition and this thing right now looks to be in pretty good condition uh, uh, it's definitely better than a good um, let's crack this op one open so what we'll do um, for the first little bit anyway for every uh, you know first one from a few batches that we look at we're gonna crack it open and uh, see what the condition is right and these are nice bags, nice bags and boards. And if you take a look, right. make sure they're complete. Nice comic, nice comic. 
right. At some point, we'll get to read uh, read some daredevils. And as you can tell, I was really excited to uh, dive into these uh, boxes. I've been waiting uh, uh, for a couple of days until I had the opportunity to uh, share this with you. This was number 58, the Stunt Master. Take a look at this. That beautiful little page. Uh, I think this is 1960s, uh, right? The Stunt Master. Nice little splash page. This is. Um, What's the date on this? Madison. Nineteen sixty-nine, right? So this is from the nineteen sixties, and it's definitely a beautiful book. Um, the guy was selling it; he had listed it at thirty dollars. Uh, I made him an offer for twenty-five. I think thirty dollars was an amazing price, and you know, I thought about lowballing. Um, all of my offers but uh, there was nothing to lowball really you know I, there's absolutely no way he would sell these books for less than uh, less than 20 and 25 seemed very reasonable they were newly listed in fact, actually 30 seemed very reasonable and if I had the money I would have paid full price for him right I wouldn't even made an offer I would have bought it uh, right away uh, but the reason um, I was lucky, I, as soon as these were listed, uh, and one thing you can do on eBay is uh, have emails sent to you on a daily basis uh, when people list things, right? So I had my email pop up with um, Daredevil because I've been looking for Daredevil lots, and they were just listed a few hours ago, and uh, I made an offer on basically all the all the lots of Daredevils he had. Uh, and um, I basically won all the Daredevil offers that I made. So this is a beautiful book, number 58. And uh, what we're going to do is put this sucker here and make sure all the books are here, right? So that's number 58. And this thing said it's num. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's number 58. And it goes up to so. He's got more than 10 books in this batch that he put together, I think anyway. So there's one, two, th three, four, five, six, eight, 10, uh, 12, 14. There's 14 in this. So, and they're all daredevils, right? And they're all daredevils. Uh, so I have to figure out which ones go with uh, this speci uh, special, uh, specific, uh, lot right so that's 58 there's 62 66 67 um, this is number 68 and uh, that was with another lot so I'm gonna put this on the side 69 70 oh there's another 62 here so there are some doubles of these uh, so there's two 62s Right, and there were doubles in this uh, in the sale. Okay, and they both look uh, well. One's better shaped than the other, uh, which is okay. This one would be uh, just from the cover. Looking at the cover, this one would be good plus for sure. And uh, this one would be this one's a great shape, fine plus. It's a nice buck. Okay, so I'm going to put one with the collection that I bought, with the lot that I bought. Here's number 64, and there was no there. 66, two copies of 66, right? So there was overlap between the, between the, between the lots. I was probably being a little too greedy grabbing them all, right? But that's okay. And there's two 67s, and here's. 46 right and 48 and these guys this is good to find and they're definitely beautiful books so there's uh, six of them here so I found six from this lot so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna this is gonna be like a lottery right because I don't know which ones these are let's take a look 
actually, um, I actually, when the books showed up, uh, I cracked open three of these and took a look at them, and I was like, "Wow!" I was really excited. And um, after uh, cracking open three, I stopped myself and um, sort of went, "No, no, no, no! I have to share this with you guys." Uh, cool. And these are. Uh, a lot that included uh, Doctor Strange and Tomb of Dracula and some of the horror books, right? Where Werewolf by Night. So these guys I'm going to put on the side. And when we get uh, to that lot, we'll take a look at those. Let's take a look at this one. Let's take a look. So I'm looking for Daredevils. Oh, these are GI Combats. These are, I bought some war comics. And we'll take a look at these as well. Let's put these guys here. I'm looking for daredevils. Daredevils. Oh, here's some daredevils. This one's stuck. So this is um, daredevil number 105. And the Black Widow, Daredevil and the Black Widow. Let's see. Okay, this is all Daredevils, um, but they're in the higher range, higher range numbers. So we'll get back to these ones, okay? These ones we'll put here. Okay, so those are the three that I already cracked open. What we're gonna do is. Uh, Crack open a new batch. Sometimes where they're uh, taped up really nicely, it's sort of dangerous unpacking them. So you know the reason I'm doing this I've uh, I've bought stuff online and uh, you know when the package arrives uh, sometimes all the books aren't in there so you know I do have to contact the seller uh, and it's a mistake it's an honest mistake that happens uh, sometimes people just you know they're not organized so they forget to add something or whatnot and most of the time they're very apologetic and you know they do send me the book uh, these ones are higher numbers again. These are getting to the 130s, right? 138. Wow, there's actually three copies of number 138. Take a look. So that's three copies of number 138 in the same lot, right? I'm not sure if this was um, in one lot or in separate lots that he's put together. So these guys are daredevils, but uh, they're not the ones that we're looking for, are they? Let's see. Let's crack open another one. Again. Yeah, these are like 128 and stuff, so let's put this one back. And let's take a look at these ones. Now, hopefully, uh, the comics that come with those that fill that lot, uh, they're not in the other box, right? Because I haven't cracked that one open yet.
these are getting into the high hundreds getting got close to 200 oh and this is solar man of the atom there's some old school solar in here uh, <laughs> when we take a look at that I'll to mint condition and it's really hard to find these things in they're expensive in mint condition and these are very very nice copies beautiful books oh, look at this one giant size chillers this guy is definitely in near mint condition he's got double boards on this just to give it a nice sturdiness. Take a look at this. Beautiful copy. Beautiful. And this included a lot of like 17 of these with too much Dracula and stuff. And I'll put these guys over here with that lot. Let's take a look. Let's crack one open. So in this box, we're looking for the rest of the comics for Daredevil, right? Let me have it. Uh, we started with uh, a lot that we couldn't fill right away. Let's take a look. Oh, these are GI Combat. GI Combat, some of the war stories. And GI Combat. So let's throw this one back. It's like catching fish. Oh, we only have one more. One more closed uh, pack that we haven't looked at in this box. So we might have to put this, uh, this batch on one side and go with some of the other lots, right? Cravens on this one. Sweet. What's this side of it? What number is that? And that's 150, so it's not in this one. So, this looks like it includes the higher number ones mainly. So, I'm going to take uh, these guys. So, these are the low number there levels we have. We're going to put this on the side. And we're going to go through some of the other lots. Okay. Let's go through. Let's go through uh, the Dracula stuff. Okay. So in this lot, we're going to see if this one's all complete. Uh, that way we can check it off, right? And there was 20 lots in this. So there's 20 different you know, 100, 275 bucks. There was 20 different lots that I got. Uh, so this one includes 17 comics, and this looks to be about 17. Hopefully, that's all of them, right? Uh, and in this auction, the title he listed it as uh, Tomb of Dracula, Giant Size, and Werewolf, um, and uh, Marvel Comic Lot. He basically said Near Mint. 
Uh, so the description for this is, I am selling a nice 17 issue lot of 1970s Tomb of Dracula Will Wer and Werewolf by Night comic lot. All issues are first prints and in very fine plus to near mint condition. And that was a selling point for me. Uh, and I looked at the pictures and they looked amazing. And he was selling a lot of books that I wanted. And, uh, you know, I sent him an offer for this. He had listed this, uh, these 17 books at 85 bucks. And I offered him, uh, let's find the Tomb of Dracula. I offered him 65, I believe there it is. Yeah, I offered him uh, 65 and he accepted. So let's take a look at the lot and we'll, what we got. Let's make sure all the books are in here. So we have uh, giant size chiller um, number one. In you know he says very fine plus to near mint condition, and uh, this is near mint condition. And um, I'm not gonna crack on in this one uh, because you know I'm not set up set up in a set up in a position where you know I won't do too much damage to it, right? Uh, so we're not gonna look at this one, but that's there. Um, and from this lot, I'm going to open one and check it to make sure it's in, you know, anywhere from very fine to near mint condition. If all of these books were a very fine plus, uh, I would be very, very happy. Uh, giant size, uh, werewolf, uh, number three, and that's there. Beautiful. Uh, giant size chiller, number one. And that's there right so that's three right there giant size werewolf number two <laughs> beautiful copies uh, this one I would definitely say it's uh, you know it might not be very fine plus uh, it's probably uh, very fine minus maybe or very fine so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna crack this one open and uh, see what it's like okay and um, any comics that i open that have tapes that don't come off easy what i do i um i fold the tape over get it to touch the front that way I accidentally don't snag the comics when I'm pulling them out, right? And then if I want a flat surface, I flip it over and put the comic on top, right? And this guy... It's still got its integrity, right? Nice comic. Comic. That's one thing I love about uh, these annuals and giant sizes. There's a lot of stories here, so it's a compilation of a whole bunch of stories. And uh, maybe in a future reading, uh, we'll have a read through one of these, right? One of these horror ones. It's a nice book. I wouldn't call it a very fine plus. Uh, he mentioned that all the books are between very fine plus to near mint. So I wouldn't call this a very fine plus. I would call it uh, very fine minus maybe. Uh, but as I mentioned in, uh, in one of the previous videos, uh, grading is, is, is arbitrary to a certain degree, right? Uh, so, you know, it's, you know, it can vary. It's got a plus and minus you know 0.75 or sometimes plus or minus so but you know the grading might vary two points or right? someone might grade a two is pretty heavy like if someone's grading two away from where you are um you know either you're being too generous or too too harsh or they're being too generous and too harsh you guys are looking at it completely differently uh, but i'm okay with uh, you know two notches difference right considering the price and uh what it was and this guy looks beautiful mint condition this is tomb of uh, giant size dracula number five 
And since the other one wasn't uh, wasn't exactly what uh, you know his low end, I'm gonna take a look at this one as well. Double, double boarded, right? That's a nice book. That's definitely a nice book. Again, I would give this uh, oh, very fine minus again. I wouldn't give it a very fine plus. Okay. Comic books in general look. Uh, better when they're uh, in in bags uh, they lose and this is a nice book really you know I would give it a very fine grade or a very fine minus you can tell it's been sitting uh, sitting in a box pressed up I guess something for a while because it lies fairly flat. Okay. So let's take a look. Close this guy out. So that's two comics we looked at this thing, and the grading wasn't exactly what I would say. So from now on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some of these grades a little bit lower end, right? And then there's. Uh, Doctor Strange, number 61, 62, uh, and number 60. And these guys are in there. And this is the 1974 series. Okay. And these guys look like great condition as well. Scarlet Witch. Nice. And then there's uh, Werewolf... Uh, Werewolf by Night number 23. Okay. Nice book. Nice book. Tomb of Dracula. Uh, let's see. This one isn't even listed here. Hmm. This is Tomb of Dracula number 30 but he didn't have it even listed in the auction. So we'll take that as a bonus. Maybe he was trying to get rid of it. Um, there's Tomb of Dracula 50, 51, 53, 54, 55, and number 70. And they look great. Really, I'm happy with this. This is... Uh, They look like great comics. So how many books is this? There's, uh, that's all of it. Jai says chiller number one, chiller number one. And we have those. So that should be 17 books, right? Or 18 if I'm not, if I counted incorrectly, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, which one is it? What are we missing? What are we missing? 17. We have a giant size chiller. Oh, he probably just forgot to list it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh yeah, he just forgot to list uh, the number 30 in the description, okay. So that guy is complete, perfect, and we're very happy with it. Uh, with the buy, right? So we're gonna put this guy back in the box. In the short box. Okay, now, what else we're gonna look at? Let's see. Those that are lower end there, that was like, look at the higher end, uh, higher number daredevils. 
So I'm going to look for um, the 105. So I'm going to see if I can find the 105 and uh, go through that one. That looks like it. So the description for the lot that was Daredevil uh, from, uh, there was 14 comics and he had listed uh, the range from 100 to 123. He'd listed them for 30 bucks and I offered 25 and I ended up getting it. And let's see if this includes all of it. So this is number 22, Black Widow in this as well. So 122, 123, okay. And these guys are higher numbers, 60, 70. Let's take a look at these ones. Um, and he's got 100 to 109. And this doesn't include all of it. Okay, Daredevil we put on the side. Let's see this Daredevil. Was the this is daredevils but higher numbers right let's see okay let's look at this other daredevil lot so we're going to close this one so we are looking for Daredevil 138 to find a lot that that includes. There we go, 138. So let's see, maybe these guys are together. <laughs> so this one was uh, 13 comics, and there was multiples of comics in this one. And the range was from 136 to 144. He was, uh, he had them listed for 25 and I offer 20 so grab 13 so let's take a look at this 136 140 oh that's what he's done he's listed these he's put the daredevils in order not in the lots that he had okay oh tough one tough one let's see daredevil daredevil this was GI Combat. Let me look at the GI Combat on top of here. These guys were there. That was 152. No, not that one. Let's see this side of it. Oh, 100. Okay, this one should include it. Let's take a look. So one side is 148. So I'm going to put this over here. And the 156. So these are higher numbers. So number 100. Mindstorm, number 100. Right. Now let's take a look. Let's go back to the other guy. Number 100. So we're looking at Daredevil 100, 101, 102, 103, 104. Okay. Oh, there's these guys 105 106 107 108 109 108 109 so that's those and then we're looking for 116 116 119, 122, 123. So we got one lot right here. Okay. 
this should be 14 books and they're good to very good condition and uh, they look better than good that's for sure uh, some of the lower grade comics uh, people rate really low they under undershoot them and uh, the higher grade comics they overshoot them so there aren't there are very few well there's a lot of comics that are really poor there are very few comics that are mint mint but a lot of people uh, they just way over undershoot right and overshoot they grade them higher than what they are so that's what you sort of have to be careful with right so what do we got um, 14 so first thing we're going to do we're going to count and make sure there's 14 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 13 14 comics and looking at them good to very good yeah nice bucks nice bucks ramrod craven see this one would be good the craven one not bad black widow Okay, I'm going to take a Beetle, I'm going to take 108, and take a look at that one. So let's put the rest of these here. I'm going to crank this one open and uh, make sure it's complete. All right. Yeah, this is uh, a good plus the minimum, a very good minus, and I would even give it a very good, uh, a very good grade. Check this out, beautiful. All right, check it out. Oh, nice. There, double Black Widow. One of the reasons. Uh, really excited about the daredevil series is because well daredevil uh, i got into reading daredevil from uh, frank miller's daredevil uh, uh, not the first issue he put out but uh with bullseye and electra and uh, it was amazing it's, i consider uh, frank miller's daredevil the uh, the electro store uh electra uh, and uh, storyline uh, to be the greatest uh, I thought it was the greatest love story in comic books uh, because it was brilliant it was so passionate so powerful and somebody well I won't I won't give you any spoilers but it's it's a beautiful beautiful run on that series uh, and I really loved Daredevil uh, after that uh, I wasn't too fond of it before that and with that with comic books it really depends the character how well a character is done uh, if you like it depends on who writes it usually sometimes the characters you just love the powers or you love the way they act and stuff um, and it's definitely very good it's a very good book so it is definitely on the higher range of what he described uh, fantastic super happy with that um, what was this one this is daredevil as well this is 128 so let's see if we can uh, find 128 here's a 128 i know he listed some of these in uh, in uh, there's multiple copies so they're in, you know some of the some of the comics are uh, with other lots as well so I'm not sure how he put them together this is 115 126 113 what do we got this one is uh, this is 122 123 again 126 we got 126 oh yeah he's put them in order so I actually have to go in and to put these guys based on the lots that he has uh, does he let's see maybe well we'll check this one out uh, this one is uh, 13 uh, 13 issue daredevil set 
uh, it goes from 126 to 135 and there's multiple copies of some of these right so 122 123 124 125 I'm gonna put on the side okay and we're gonna look at uh, 126 so 126 there's two copies that he's put together but there's only one copy in the slot so I'm gonna see if I can uh, complete the lot right and he says you know 128 there's only one copy here so this is not the set we're looking for here's another one daredevil 113 so I'm gonna look for the lot that's got daredevil 113 okay. so this takes longer uh, than what you think just going through when you buy a whole bunch of comics and as a collector, uh, I don't mind. It's fun entertainment. Uh, for me, it's time well spent. Uh, let's take a look. That's not it. Let's go above. So 106. There's a 113 with 106 in it. And there isn't 106 here. Okay, that's got to be the lots. So we'll keep a mental note on this if we can't find all the books in this right we'll put this in one pile and this is a 13 comic daredevil lots it goes from very good plus to fine and it's got 106 so 106 113 we got so this is, starts off 113 115 116 117 119 121 122 and there's two copies of 122 and I saw 122 here 122 here and then there's 126 120 well, well sorry 123 124 125 and we need a 126 and there's 126 here sweet so that's another lot missing 106 right so we have to keep a mental note on that one so this should be 12 issues right so one two th three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect and he says these are from very good plus to fine and i'm going to look at uh, the lowest one uh, 113 uh, so for example he said very good plus and I'm just looking at this one uh, this one you can tell the way it's been sitting in a comic book box and this is what happens when uh, when they're pressed in and in a box when the comics are sitting like this you know they're not right on top of each other they're sitting like this right this gets pressed up if they're squished together and that's what happens um, you know if you're a collector that's something you're gonna have to deal with if you have a lot of boxes right uh, so you don't try to jam in as many comics as possible you give it a little bit of lean way when you uh, when you pack your boxes uh, so would i give that one a good plus uh, very good plus i would give it a very good uh, i haven't looked inside we're going to look inside this one And 113, Daredevil, when strikes the gladiator. And the way Daredevil sits, it's, it's beautiful. It's like Daredevil is uh, to marvel what Batman is to DC, okay? And what Shadow Man is uh, to Valiant. Uh, <laughs> it's beautiful panel work. Who did the art for this one? Uh, artist Bob Brown Steve Berger Steve Berger writer Bob Brown the artist Wow I'm not really familiar with Bob Brown's his name doesn't uh, ring out to me right away but the artworks awesome the panel work like I love this kind of stuff, right? Splash pages with multiple panels. Beautiful. Um, is this very good plus? 
I'd give it a very good, uh, and I'm happy with a very good. So I'm happy with this lot. Uh, right. So far, the guy might be a little bit too generous on his grading, but uh, that's okay. So this lot is there. So 106, we got to remember that one, right? Uh, let's look at there, devils. Let's go back and look for number 138. What do we got? 135, 144. Okay, let's take a look at this one. 130, oops. 138 lots, 138 lots. So we need 136. Did we find a 136? Did we find a 136? We didn't find a 136. Okay, so we're gonna go Maybe those guys are. No, these are 150s. And what was this one? Let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah, these are higher dollar numbered there. That was. You know what? Let's close this. Let's go to the the highest numbers I got to. I just bought all the way close to uh, 200. So, 67, yeah, let's go, that's got to be the one. So this batch we're going to look for is number 163. To 193. So hopefully this includes all of them. Oh, there's Solar Man of the Atom. And if you haven't read Solar Man of the Atom, the first um, Valiant comics, uh, you should read them uh, from the 1990s. Uh, they were absolutely awesome. Really. Solar and Magnus. Um, I picked them up right off the stands when I found them and uh, you know taking a side with uh, you know I was like hey what's this Valiant Solar Man of the Atom number one Magnus for Warfighter number one I didn't know them the, the the covers looked amazing were different they stood out from everything else and um, I took them home and I read them and I went wow and then I came back to the comic book store and I bought multiple copies of the number ones which was a very good investment uh, Thing to do back in the early 90s i bought multiple copies of all the early valiants okay so this one is number 60 163 164 let's see there's multiple copies here so 163 164 167 there's two copies of 167 uh 172 180 190 191 190 Oh, two copies of 191, two copies of 192, two copies of 193. Okay. And uh, he said these comics are from fine to very fine condition. He was, um, he had a list them for 25, so there's 13 in total. And uh, I offered uh, 20 bucks for him. And uh, uh, I could have probably lowballed this one, but um, that's okay. All the other books were fantastic. Uh, third, so there should be 13 comics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen comics. So fine to very fine. Uh, definitely fine. Very fine, yeah. Very fine. So two copies of 167. Nice cover. Right. 172 bullseye that's a very fine book right there okay 180 nice right Electra 190 and these all should be there um, Frank Miller uh, you know what let's crack open the 
number 172. Let's crack open 172. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a fine book, if not a fine plus, very fine minus from the cover anyway. This is definitely fine plus. <laughs> I put it on the wrong side. Jeez. Almost made a mess of that one, eh? Let's take a look. Right. Pretty good buck. Nice corners. Frank Miller. Written and pencil. Nice. Awesome. So, you know, 13 bucks, uh, 20 bucks. Uh, oh, bullseye, and I love Bullseye. Bullseye is awesome, really. And for all the flack that the Daredevil movie got, uh, uh, Bullseye was outstanding. Uh, the way. Uh, Colum, I forget his the actor's name. The way he portrayed Bullseye was brilliant. Just put a smile on my face. And there's Kingpin in here. Beautiful. Let me find a nice Frank Miller page to show you. <laughs> nice. Really. Frank Miller at his prime. Really, this is Frank Miller at his... Wow, well, some people say he peaked at the... You know... Oh, I don't want it to damage to this book. It's a beautiful book, so we use the board to hold it up. And here's the panel work, some classic panel work from Frank Miller, right? Um, Miller, uh, there's a, some artists, a lot of artists that have uh, peaks, but they, their peaks don't last very long, so, very uh, long sometimes, right? What makes someone amazing is when their peaks last a long time and Frank Miller had a peak that was huge spanned over a decade um, uh, you know hard-boiled like you know his early work for Daredevil I think it was 137 in the 30s I think um, but uh, it was brilliant and he did early, he did work earlier um, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a huge, uh, I don't know my history on Frank Miller that well. I know some of it, uh, but uh, it was, uh, he was, he, Daredevil, uh, peaking Frank Miller all the way up to, you know, early 90s maybe, uh, Hard Boiled, uh, when did Hard Boiled come out? I think Hard Boiled came out in the early 90s, maybe it was late 80s. Uh, you know, he put out the Batman books then, and uh, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, and this is the lot, so again, another lot, nice. So every time we do, uh, you know, we put away one of these lots, there's less lots to, uh, to sort through, so it goes a lot faster. Um, you know what, let's take a look at the War Comics. Uh, because these guys are huge uh, so that's another lot so that's four lots down uh, where are these war comics uh, GI and this was uh, wow it was a 37 lot included uh, some stuff some older stuff from the 1970s as well as some uh, vertical stuff. And uh, vertical is uh, DC's imprint. Uh, and they've produced more adult-oriented comics and they're amazing. And I believe this was Garth Ennis that wrote these ones. Uh, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, this was Garth Ennis. And I haven't read Garth Ennis War Comics and I really wanted to read through these. Uh, Garth Ennis is amazing. Uh, so, you know, I bought the GI Combats and the whole thing, and there's 37 bucks. And he had listed them at 55, and I picked them up for uh, 35, right? 
So less than a buck a pop. I mean, if you compare it to what the price of comic books are right now, comic books 2015, they cost you anywhere just off the racks, cost you anywhere between uh, three to five bucks or even higher, which is heavy, heavy, right? And uh, I just picked up some books here, early, uh, early issues for 35 bucks. Um, and what's the description? I'm selling a lot of 37 GI Combat and Ver Vertical War story comics, all books first print, and the GI Combat issue issues range from fine to very fine. All vert vertical books are in mint condition. Now, this guy's using the mint in collector, um, someone who loves comic books format, who, you know, that he's been collecting, and this is his, his collection. When it comes to grading, you, none of these books will be considered mint. Uh, by grading system because <laughs> they, that means like untouched and you know blah 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 uh, I don't really go for that ranking personally mint to me is off the racks as long as it hasn't been handled too much or ever handled um, so let's take a look we got GI combat 267 so there should be 37 books in this slot what? I don't know if this is all of them. Uh, some of these might be in the other box. We're going to have to crack it open before we finish this box, right? So let's check a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, definitely doesn't include all of them. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So he's listed uh, from fine to very fine, and he's got a couple of books here that aren't in, they don't have backing boards, so I'll have to put backing boards on these. And then I would rate these as a uh, very good plus, just looking at the cover, and here's some more Solar, nice. Solar number two, right, number three and number six awesome so what do we got here we got uh, 200 so this is 215 uh, 216 200 so it's got the 200 200 201 so this is gi combat 200 201 nice bucks right uh, fine to very fine you know what so far i don't mind his grading and the books look pretty pretty good all right these are from the 1970s they look like nice bucks And I'm okay with the grading that he's doing so far. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call these uh, very fine. Maybe a couple of them, which is the range, I guess. And they're definitely fine. The hunted tank. Check out my, let's crack one open. Here, we'll crack one open. Next. That doesn't have a backing board. I got some backing boards here that I'll put on later. board this book is looking pretty good yeah I would rate this as a fine oh it's a full page cover let's show you right. it's a good book uh, okay so these guys 
these two that don't have backing boards I'm going to put on the side. Because um, I'm going to put backing boards on those. So how many do we have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we need to have another 15, 37. Um, <laughs> I should do my math, right? Uh, two. So we need to have another 22. GI combat comic books. Let's take a look at the daredevils. So let's go back since we got almost all of them organized here for this box anyway. Let's see how low we go. Okay, these are 1950 or 150s. So let's find daredevils in the 150 range. Here we go. Okay. So, Daredevil lot, 13 comics. There's double comics. He listed them at 25. And I bought them, bought these for 15. Uh, so 145 to 156. There should be 13 comics and he's got them listed from good to very fine. So I'm looking for 145. Here's 145. And we're going all the way to 156. So we're looking for two copies of 145. Awesome. The Owl. Nice books. Good to find plus. Two copies of The Owl. 146. 147. 120s 46 147 oh there's 148 what's that one so let's see 148 I think that's Frank Miller if I don't death stalker that's number 148. I think that's Frank Miller. I'm gonna check that one out. That's pre-Electra. If it is, it's a nice hit. Uh, let's see, what was this? Number 13. I love finding goodies. Hopefully it is a goodie. Pencils is getting King Jim Shooter. Jim Shooter, amazing. Jim Shooter is the guy who started Valiant Comics, right? Uh, and the pencils is Gil Kane. Wow, wow. And this is, what year is this? This is 1977. Awesome. Jim Shooter is the writer. Wow, I haven't read this. I gotta read this. I love Jim Shooter, really. The guy was, he made Marvel Comics. You know, he, he made it extremely profitable. The guy rejuvenated Marvel Comics when he became editor-in-chief anyway. And as a writer, he's a brilliant, brilliant writer. Amazing storyteller, amazing storyteller, right? Let's take a look. Daredevil. Murdoch. did was with the stalker um, the, with the death stalker um, he was uh, let's take a look let's put these back in order <laughs> there, 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 there. where was this oh here we go okay let's go back to organizing these things 145 two copies 46 47 48 
149. Number 50, there's two copies. 51, there's two copies. 152, 153, and 156. And there's another lot. And he says good to, ver uh, to find plus, and these are definitely good to find plus. Um, and so far, everything we've checked has been complete. So I'm going to assume all of these are complete. Right. So that's another lot gone in there. Let's take a look at Daredevil. So one more there that was so I'm looking for 138. We saw that one. 138, there we go. So 138 to 144. I think this is this one. And this one again is um, he had listed for 25 and I ended up paying 20. There's 13 comics total. 136 oh that's 136 oh yeah we're missing the 136 okay we're gonna make a mental note that we need two copies 136 and one and one copy of 137 so this has got three copies of 138 okay we got 139 140 two copies of 142 uh, two copies of 143 and a copy of 144 cool and I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight this so those are the missing ones uh, later on we'll come back to it uh, we'll know that's what we're looking for and these are just from the covers very good to find plus yeah the covers look fantastic Beautiful cover. Beautiful, beautiful cover here. Eh? I don't know who this is. Who did the art for this? Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, happy with these. Okay. That's a nice cover. Should we check to see who did the art for this? Let's check to see who did the art for this. And these bags are pretty nice, actually. I've never come across these bags before. And they have the sticky right there. And this side is sticky and this side is not. Don't have to worry about tapes. And who wrote the... Oh, this is a crossover with uh, Iron Man 89. And who are the artists? Marv Wolfman is the writer. I don't know Marv Wolfman. Uh, guest artist Sal Bosim, Bosima. Bos, Bosima. I'm bad with pronouncing names. Um, I'm curious. He, I might know him from Savage Sword of Conan. His name looks familiar. Uh, cool. Wow, heavy writing. Heavy, heavy writing. Look at this. Comics nowadays don't really have this much writing. Some do anyway. Uh, good ones do anyway. Well, not all good ones, but uh, they all don't. Wow, cool. Looks good, looks good. Looks complete. from very good to find plus yeah definitely very good to find plus range cool that's that one so the rest of these guys we can't really organize until we crack open the other box right what's this one 46 i wonder if i can organize this one let's see and Devil, there, devil. Let's find one that's got 46 in it. There, devil, 46. There, devil, 46. And I have to get to 43. Okay, there's 68. Let's go to the 70.
So this one is Daredevil Lot, 11 comics, uh, from 46 to 79. And he's got them rated as uh, very good to find plus conditions. So let's take a look. 46, 48. Let's see if the 50s are here. Cool, there's 50s here. So there's 58. Let's put these in order. So 48, 58, I need a 62, there's a 62, cool. So 62, 66, oh, there's two copies of 62. Okay, let's put that one on the side. 66, then one 67, there's two copies of 67, 66. 66, 64 is not in this lot, 69, 75, 78, and oh, we're missing 79. So there should be a 79 in the other box. So these are the leftover daredevils we have that we can't complete. Um, so 79, I'm gonna highlight this. Let's just take a look at this. Very good to find plus. There should be 11 books in this lot, so there should be 10 in this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, what am I missing? 66, 68, 58, 62, 66, 67, 6, oh, 68, there's 68, 68, 69, 75, and 78 very good to find plus condition uh, from the covers yeah very good to find condition or find plus anyway they look good they look great right gets kicked in the head still man These guys we're gonna put on the sides, and now what we're gonna do, we have to crank open the other box because we've got leftovers. So I'm gonna move this box, and um, we actually have to open up the packaging for that, so it takes a little bit of effort. He packed them up really tight, put cardboard around the comic book box. 